I'm here with uh, Petros Marquis, vice captain of the 1981 Premiership side. He was also captain of the Two Wells Primary School side. Uh, the coach thinks he didn't play much junior footy, but Petros, can you tell us your junior footy career at Two Wells before 81? Absolutely, Wally. Um, actually, it began with the um, uh, with the uh, mini league. Uh, I remember um, one day, Oklamont, your uncle, came with a couple of players to ask my dad permission for me to play. I think it was a preliminary final uh, in '71 when I was um, still at uh, Two Worlds Primary, and I th uh, I thought Dad was going to give him the heave ho, but uh, he said, "Yeah, no problem. He can he can play." Of course, all night I was polishing boots and uh, and uh, painting the uh, the shoelaces as we did in those days, putting the new sprigs in, and uh, played against Balak in that preliminary final. And uh, yeah, we beat them and then played Malala in the grand final, which unfortunately wasn't a good result. Uh, and then I didn't play again until 1974, um, when the under 15s uh, Gawler District competition was at Gawler High School. So with the Two Walls Virginia um, um, club at the time. So I played the back half of that year and then uh, got uh, moved up to the senior Colts in the under-17s. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, and then of course when Two Walls in Virginia split, Wally, as you remember, we lost an entire under-17 side. I was think, I always think I was the only player in uh, 75 left from the previous year, which is why they made me captain and you came in as vice captain. So we were going around um, all the market gardens and farms of Two Walls, Smithfield, Evanston Gardens uh, to try and uh, scrape up enough players to form a team, which we did. And uh, one of those players that we got was a guy called George Ionidas, who uh, ended up being my future brother-in-law. They were tough years, uh, as you remember. Uh, 75, I think we won one game, um, and that's only because the captain of the team, uh, Williamstown, got lost on the way here and uh, came halfway through the second quarter and we have a, enough of a lead to, uh, to win the game. So 75 and 76 were tough years, even though 76 we did do a lot better, we kept most of our players. Sorry to interrupt you, but yep. uh, didn't you play in the A-grade premierships in 76 and 77? Yeah, well, um, 76, uh, I was uh, captain of the uh, Gawland District team, um, was uh, fortunate enough to win the male medal, and yes, uh, I was given an opportunity to play in the A-grade at the back half of the year. I think mainly because my coach was one of the selectors and I think was lobbying Murray Franco to give me a go. And uh, yes, uh, ended up playing in the 76 uh, grand final at uh, Williamstown, which was uh, a very special day in my life. Um, four goals. Uh, remember I kicked three in the second quarter when we were in a bit of trouble actually. Uh, Willison were up and were really giving it to us and uh, I was fortunate enough to get uh, a few touches and uh, convert them, which was always a uh, Always good. Okay, enough about you. That's good. <laughs> now, before yes. we get to 81. Yes. You're a well-known cheat. Okay. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> In the 76, your Colts got beaten 25 goals to 25 goals to nothing by Lincoln South. The following year, when you and, and 75. left in, seven, yeah, in 75. No, 77, when you'd gone out of Colts and our Colts yeah. was playing, you umpired a game, goal umpired a game against Gawler of South at Gawler Oval. Uh, Gawler Oval. Yep. And we finally got the ball inside 50 and Stephen Kelly had a shot for goal. Yep. And we were about 25 goals down at that stage. Yep. It went right across the goals. Yep. You ran to the point post. Yep. And signalled a goal. And Neville Joyce, who I believe was umpiring, yep. ran from centre forward to the goal line to ask if you were sure <laughs> and you said, close enough for me. <laughs> Here's this truth. Well, um, uh, by and large, yes it is. And I remember getting the glare from one of the Gawler South defenders, Chris Noddle. He gave me a really good glare, but uh, I ignored it. We scored a goal and that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> well, the problem, I, the question I have is going forward to 81. Yes. Is that you took that cheating nature of yours into sprinting to every out of bounds on the full, no matter where it was on the ground, so that you would get the kick or if there was a scrimmage and someone had pulled out a free kick, you immediately ran backwards with the ball to make out it was your kick. Is this also true? No, that's not true. I was actually uh, um, 
focusing more on creating space upfield so they could have someone to kick to, Wally. And I often got, uh, got teased for uh, not handballing too often, but stuff that. Mate, I made all that effort to get the ball and make space and run into position. I wasn't going to give it off to some bludger running next to me. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Fair enough. So uh, what are your memories of the 81 grand final day? Uh, look, I... My, the most precious memory for me when playing in a grand final for two worlds was the fantastic local support that we got. But half the town came out and I really believe that make a, made a big psychological difference on the day, having the, all that red and white support. And they were very vocal. Uh, they were out there. They really gave it to the Gawler Central's um, uh, supporters as well. So that, that holds as a very special memory for me. But on the particular day, um, I remember how we really um, were up against it with, uh, unfortunately, uh, a guy who I know very well and, and, and respect very well, Paul Little, who was umpiring that day. Um, didn't do us any favours, and especially in that tight last quarter. So you're still blaming the umpires 40 years later? Uh, no, well, I'm just saying it didn't make it easy for us. We won that game because I believe we played the better football and we were better when it counted. But um, um, I remember late in the last quarter, um, at, at centre bounce, Gawler Central got another free kick. We started disputing it. And in the meantime, George Gagolas, who was uh, one of the best players on the day, called for the ball and uh, pumped it right uh, deep into the forward line and uh, we were you know, obviously scared that was going to convert into the winning, uh, into the winning points. Um, but it was tough, it was tight. Um, I didn't play my best game that day, I've got to say. I was a bit disappointed with my, with my effort. Uh, but I think collectively, um, as a team, we really put in when it counted. And that was the important. Okay, one last question. Yep. Tony wanted me to ask you, just to give us a comment on what it was like that year to come back from, I think you left Centres and went to West Torrance, did you? Correct. Before well, you come back, and yeah. then you got to play a couple of games with your brother Terry in the A grade when he came up from Colts to fill in for a couple of games. Yes, that, that, that was uh, that was really good. Uh, playing with Terry in '81 was, uh, was 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 special because Terry and I had uh, a little bit of uh, you know we had some sibling rivalry at the time. After that '81 uh, Premiership, he went to Virginia for a few years, and then he came and joined me at United in '85 and played a few games then. So that was uh, that was quite uh, quite special year. But '81 was. Uh, I think it was a culmination. I have to say, I've, I've got a, uh, and I've said it to him before uh, during the day, that I think in, prior to 81, Eddie Holland's role in, in preparing us um, uh, for this particular year was very important. I mean, he had a very tough job to take on the team after the Franco exit. Um, and in 79, if you remember Wally, you know, with a bunch of kids, we were playing for a spot in the grand final. Um, so, you know, which was quite a special effort and we had a couple of key injuries that day too. So, you know, to be able to get up and, um, and win the Premiership in 81, when Gawler Centrals were by rights the favourites, I think was a magnificent effort and testament to Tony's coaching. Uh, he was focused, he was disciplined, he knew exactly what, he, uh, what needed to be done and the players, uh, you know, were on board with what, uh, what he did. Thanks, Petros. Wally, it's a pleasure always with you. We've and been what friends was since grade one. You stuck we your have. head in the toilet <laughs> on my first day at school. And, and the good, best thing about 81, Wally is playing in a premiership with you for the first time. It was good. <laughs>